title of this, Laboratory Grown Penises Ready to be Tested in Humans. Scientists at the Wake Forest Institute for Regenerative Medicine could be offering a new hope to men with genital abnormalities or injuries in as little as five years, thanks to one of their many tissue engineering endeavors, lab-grown penises. While that may sound a little far out, these guys are among the world leaders in regenerative medicine, and they've achieved some remarkable things in the past. Back in 1999, they became the first in the world to successfully implant a lab-grown organ into humans, a bladder. Since then, they've transplanted engineered vaginas into women born with defects or without vaginas entirely, and have started working on growing tissues and organs from more than 30 different areas of the body. So, how do they do it? First, they obtain a donor penis and strip all the cells from it with a detergent. Researchers are then left with a collagen scaffold, which they then seed with a combination of cultivated smooth muscle and endothelial cells from the recipient. Using the patient's own cells eliminates the risk of immunological rejection that often occurs when transplants are given from another individual. However, because the cells are taken from the male's genitals, it means that the procedure could not be used for female-to-male -male sex reassignment surgery. The team has already engineered six human penises that are ready for transplantation. If approval for trials is granted, and they prove to be a success, the researchers hope that they could be used all over the world to help people with a variety of problems. In particular, they envisage, envisage them being used in men who have suffered from traumatic injuries, for example, those returning from the battlefield. This technique also offers a vast improvement from existing penis replacement options, which are far from ideal. The procedure involves constructing a penis from thigh or forearm tissue, and then inserting a prosthetic inside in order to achieve sexual function. The prosthetic is either a permanently rigid rod that is difficult to conceal, or an inflatable rod that requires a pump. That's pretty nuts. can't believe they've been growing organs on mice since 1999. And planting them into people. It's crazy. But yeah, it's... It's crazy. <laughs> Lab-grown penises. From the same people who brought you lab-grown vaginas. 